welcome back everyone let's design a fully responsive dashboard uh, sidebar using react.js so look at we will have this sidebar using react.js with the help of tailwind synthesis so let's design it okay so let's start our coding so I have opened a sidebar component. Now let's start our coding or AFC to create a functional component. Uh, in this sidebar, the first div element, okay, this is the parent div element. In this, uh, uh, let's add a class name to this Tailwind CSS class, which is flex. And now down from this here, I will add two div elements. The first one is for the sidebar. The second one is for our dashboard for the right side, okay? So let's write, first of all, design the sidebar. So in the sidebar, so first of all, we will have this icon okay this hamburger or this um, logo so for the logo let's have a div element and in the inside this div element we have two things the first thing is to have a um, logo the second one is here we will have an icon the icon is just hidden for uh, larger devices so let's have for example it's two tag here we will just write like my app and let's add classes class name um, text xl font Bold. and let's add class name to this div element also flex justify between and item center vertically item center uh, what else we need to add and also let's add to this div element okay to the sidebar div element here we will add the width uh, 20 okay for smaller devices the width is 20 but for medium devices the width is 64 Okay, this is the width of our sidebar now down from this logo we will have our icon so okay for that we have no bar and let's add class name margin top like for inside this we will have an unordered list li inside this li we will have an icon and also the uh link okay so let's first of all have the icons so for the icons we will use okay first of all the home then the profile setting we have these four menus so let's i will just write the a in the icon i will first of all import the icons and also the anchor tags so this is okay the first li okay link uh, list and here we have added the classes flex item center vertical center padding it's over Whenever we move mouse to this link list, so it will change the background color and also cursor pointer. We have an icon, home icon. So I have imported all these icons. So we will use these icons. And this is a home tab. Okay, so I have imported uh, icons from React Icons Library. So you can install React Icons Library. You can look at the React Icon. Just install this one library. Just use npm install react icons in the terminal to install this library so after installing it now let's use other icons uh, links also this was the first uh, list let's the second one but the second one we have the profile for example okay let's change this to profile and change this to the second link which is for user alt copy this name paste it out here okay let's have the third one so for the third one we will use a setting and the setting icon let's use icons for the fourth or for the lag out so let's have the icons sign out these are the links that we have used now what else okay we have did but one thing that which is remained okay for here at the right side we will have an icon also for smaller devices so let's to the uh, logo okay this is our logo to the right side of our logo we will have an icon so this, that will be a button inside this button we will have let's place uh, an icon so just simply let's have the power bars this icon okay, let's assign size Later, I will just add classes to this. And also, 
okay yeah that is okay so we have these links also now let's design our dashboard okay so this is our dashboard adding it bg gray under it class name text text l font font something like this okay you can write simple so until this area that is okay but uh, let's we need some changes okay so let's first of all import the sidebar inside after jsx so let's import that okay instead of this so now let's check it okay just come here so oh look at this is our uh, sidebar the length so let's now add some designs okay so we just design it let's first of all add the so come here to the sidebar and let's are here and come here to the dashboard uh minimum height would be screen okay it should take the screen size so look at it should take the screen size and here we will add flex one okay flex one means that to take the rest of the screen okay we have added flex at the parent div element flex one means to take all area the lifted area like this okay so look at this is our dashboard area uh, let's just uh, come here to the dashboard i will just remove these glasses that is okay so now let's design our sidebar okay so just come here to the sidebar i will add background color for so far to the side color sidebar bg gray 800 that is okay and transition width okay i will apply transition and width duration 300 millisecond now what else we need we have changed the sidebar but let's assign text white to change the white color text white yeah we have changed the text also uh but uh, now whenever i resize it for smaller devices we should just display the icons not, not the text okay in also we so it should hide the app uh, let's first of all add here uh in x would be like four so that that that's okay okay also flooding now that is great so now let's okay we will hide this my app for smaller devices so how we can achieve that we will add hidden okay it means for smaller devices this is hidden but for md devices for medium devices this should be black let's check it now okay so that's how you can achieve it look at we have this icon now uh, and also for smaller devices we will hide these text but we will display just the icons so for that come here to the base text uh, let's add here uh, by default okay this is it means by default this is hidden but for medium devices we will display that Control c we will just have these uh, icons okay so now whenever i just come here i will hide this for larger devices okay for larger uh, which means for desktop so just come here and here i will add a class name that means this is just a block and for md devices this is hidden that's it that you can achieve this also that is okay we cannot see that now but for smaller devices we can see that that's it so now whenever i click this so i would like to display okay the whole uh, sidebar also also display the my app and also the text with this sidebar so let's achieve it for that we would like to create a um, uh, state variable const is active or is open sit is open is equal to we will use use state hook and by default value is false so that is okay so now whenever i click and this uh, come here to the button so i will change the value of this as open so let's come here to the button on click so whenever we click this so let's create 
uh, arrow function anonymous arrow function and here i will call sit is open method it is open method and here i will assign not is open it means if the open value was false so it will make it true if that was true so it will change that back to false so now whenever the value is true so we would like to display this my app also so just come here here i will add let's first of all change this to back tick and let's wrap this through curly braces curly braces and back tick and here let's write is open f is open was true so then we would like to display it as black else it should be headed Yeah, by default that is uh, hidden okay but we can remove this icon because both are the same functionality we can you can remove or leave it okay so that's okay okay we have uh, just added the first functionality and here also we will change this icon so whenever this sit open is is open variable is true so we will display another icon instead of this okay so let's do that is open if that was open so then uh, we would like to display this icon okay i close chart this icon size 24 and let's close that yes okay okay and else we will display this icon If the open was true, display this icon, otherwise display this bars icon. So let's check it now. Will this error? Let's click it, click it. So look at we have changed the icon, but we can see we would like to dis increase the size of this sidebar also. So for that, uh, just come here to the this div element, okay, to the sidebar. Here also I will add curly braces and also the back tick icon tick and close the icon and here i will add is open if is open was true so then the margin lift i uh, just come here to the width width will be <coughs> so still let's add width would be 64 else width would be 20. So look at close it back open it close it open it okay but we should see the my app okay we can't see the my app the logo so let's come here to the logo why can't see that why we can't see that let's first of all press alt shift f okay to format the document so after formatting that come here to the my app and here is open was true uh, then display it as block else hidden okay, by default that is hidden so let's remove this heaven okay that's okay close it uh what else change we need okay so whenever we open okay whenever we open it whenever the sidebar is open so we should see here the uh yeah the text also Just come here and here I would like to add again I would like to add the curly back tick and curly braces so now let's add it here is open if it is open was true so then we would like to see this text it means it should be black else it should be hidden okay I will remove this by default hidden also so that's it okay i will just copy this class name and paste it instead of other class names control d paste it here and also just i think i just placed on our okay that is okay okay look at you can see that that but if you don't want to move this dashboard to the right side so for that you can also manage that just come here and here you can add 
here and here you can add um a margin lift okay by default the margin lift would be like uh, margin lift 64 and for smaller devices uh, yeah for smaller devices the margin lift is 20 but for medium devices the margin lift is uh, 64 margin lift 64 Let's stick margin left 20 medium margin left 64 yeah that's just come here and here we want to configure out the yeah by default let's remove this let's t yeah we just need i think to add the margin to this sidebar so for that let's just make it fixed okay this should be fixed the sidebar the top should be zero left also zero and what else we need to add that is uh yeah h pool it means the height should be full save that and let's check it now okay let's resize it and let's check it look at that is on the top of dashboard so it looks like this okay it was all about to create a responsive sidebar in uh using react js with the help of kelvin css so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel like this video and also comment down. Thanks for watching.